guys. So there was an interesting discussion going on today, and I see this all the time, where people ask, you know, fortune telling. I don't use the word fortune teller. That's like not a good word, and you must use something like spiritual consultant. Well, I'm here to say I'm a proud fortune teller, and the words free will are often thrown out there as anyone that's a fortune teller takes away people's free wills. They tell them what will happen, and that takes away free will. So I'm here to say that the words free will and fortune teller are not mutually exclusive words. Words. They can be used together very well, and I've watched these systems uh, change the decisions I made in my life. I used my free will to do it, and I decided I would do it, and I found it was very helpful. So I'm going to show you something about what the military does that explains fortune telling quite well. So when the army deploys a, a sand nuclear missile, a missile is launched, that's called the actual launch. Anything that happens prior to the launch, so in the time frame just before it launches, that's called left of launch. And if you think of a grand tableau, anything in the past is to the left of the significator. And right of launch is considered after the missile deploys and it's in the air. So now that is right of launch. Anything that happens is right of launch. So what they do is they can actually hack the systems, the computer systems of these nuclear missiles. So um, when the warhead is waiting to be launched and there's a signal that it should be launched, we have means of uh, hacking in and making something go awry. Something will go wrong with that launch. And that is mean before it deploys or left of launch, something happens that will make it either misfire or not fire or something will happen that will impact the actual launch. After it's in the air, and it is now in the air, anything that happens after that is right of launch. So any adjustments that are made to that launch after the actual firing are right of launch. In our Oracle systems, left of launch is prior to an actual event. And it gives us information and details about the event and what might be causing a lead up to an event. The, then there's the launch. The event and then there's right of launch what is the outcome uh, what happens after the event and this is our right of launch now if you want to know how to make the launch misfire or do something you hope it will do or to make it happen better what you want to do is ask questions about what to do left of launch to adjust the right of launch the outcome what can you do to make an outcome change I have done this repeatedly in my own life and in situations it will tell me sometimes there may not be a lot you can do, but try this. Or there'll be a little shift if you try this. And I'll have that tell me, like we went to buy a house and he gave us his rock bottom price on the house and we needed to go lower. So it told us what we could do left of launch to make the event happen in our favor. And it did, it saved us about $20,000. So, and that was after his rock bottom price. So what I can suggest to you is don't use fortune telling as an ex a way to exclude free will. Use it as a way to help you plan your life and create free will. And just like anyone that does readings knows when we have clients, they make their own decisions. Sometimes you know in that reading, you can see what they need to do to make shifts and changes, but they're just not ready to do it. They'll hear it and they need to digest it and think about it, but they're not ready to go there. And sometimes they'll come back repeatedly and you have to keep telling them the same thing. When they're ready, it'll happen. But it has to be their free will that drives it to the next step. And it's the same thing with any kind of readings that you do. You can get the advice. You can choose not to do it. Nobody's free will is locked up and kept from doing it. But to get to the next step, if you want to get to right of launch, you want that event to happen, you have to do X, Y, Z. And it will help plan and plot things for you. So I would like to say hide all those proud fortune tellers out there. There's nothing wrong with the word. Whatever word you choose to use, good for you. And, and I support what you say. And I uh, just would like to say that if anybody uses something derogatory against somebody, it may not hold the same definition as a person that is using that because I happen to love it. I happen to enjoy doing it. And I like the kind of mystery and the intrigue that comes with it. That's just my thing. But uh, whatever you do, I'm sure you have your reasons as well. But Free will comes in my package too. Have a great day. Hey guys, so there was an interesting discussion going on today and I see this all the time where people